Welcome back. So this lesson, let's try and install the flex layout uh, together with our material setup right here. Now, if you don't know it already, if you go to Angular flex layout right here, you go and you find integration with Angular CLI because we are using the Angular command line interface and that's why we picked this one. Now we've already installed the CLI and we've already created our first project and um, we just need to kind of install the flex layout. So it seems we have to just run this command right here to start using the flex layout. Sweet, let's try and dive into our code right here. And I just have the command right here. I don't even need to add this at latest, but I added it this time to show you guys if you have a specific version that you want to add to some kind of component, you can actually go in here. Let's say the flex layout had a version of 7.3. You could do it like this, or it might be version 7.3, something like this. It's You have to read that on the different pages. And if you want to get the latest version, you can actually just say add latest right here. So I'll just fire this command right here and add the latest version of the flex layout to my system. That means that I can actually start using the flex layout. Sweet! So that was step one. Now we have the package installed. It seems there's a version 700 beta 19. Oh, so we're using a beta version right now, but just be aware of that. Sometimes that might be a mess, but let's just keep it for now because I like beta versions. I'm, I'm a beta guy. I love it. So jumping back to the beautiful code right here, that's all we had to do. And then of course we need to say we're going to start using the flex layout module. Now I cheated a little bit and I already added it down here. But it's pretty much just adding it like we've done with so many other modules and pretty much just importing it and you are done. That means now we have the flex layout available. Now we just have to start using it. So let's try and dive back into the root of this example right here and just first of all get an understanding about how we can use the flex layout because I think that's it's a pretty tough thing to learn. So yeah, let's just start from some basic stuff right here by exploring their online demo right here because I feel that's a very good way to start having an understanding about the flex layout and how it actually works right here. They have this small demo right here and think of this way, you have an outer layout, right? So this is like a parent that I have right, right here with five small children inside it. Now, in you might decide that in your case, you wanna kind of align your children in a row like this. And that's the same thing I've done here with mine, right? They are aligned in a row, like horizontally, right? That's one way to use it. You can also decide that you wanna lay out your your children in a column, and that means they'll be aligned vertically, right? And that's what I kind of want, where I want to start my application. So now I have to kind of figure out how do I want my application to be aligned. And in my case, I wanted to kind of align first a header up here, right? And then I want to align the layout, everything that needs to be shown as content down here in the middle. And then I just added for the fun of it, a small footer down here in the bottom that you can also add if you want to. So that means that this is a column layout I need to start out with. You start up here and then you kind of move downwards vertically with the first set of elements. Let's try and do that in code. So I've jumped into my app component HTML. Before I do that, let me just add one thing. Inside my style CSS to grab full control and have full height of my entire application, I added these three lines right here inside HTML and the body tag, pretty much just meaning these two guys, this guy, the HTML, the outer layer, right? and then the body down here, I want those both to grab full size. So I'm saying minimum height and maximum height is 100% and no margin inside these two. So add this style if you want to, and that'll mean that you get full control of the entire height of your application, right? The entire view will be uh, your entire height of the application. Sweet. Step two, jumping into the app component, which is kind of the first place where I'll start working with my application, I've decided to kind of say, FX flex fill and a column layout like I just explained, right? Because I want my components to be aligned as this way, the vertical direction. So that's why I picked the column layout as the first layout type right here. Sweet. Now I add my navbar first, right? I add my navbar, boom, up there. Second thing I add is a small extra layout. Yes, this is crazy, but just get used to it. So I add another div right here where I explain I have another column layout inside the first layout that's going to grab all remaining space that the navbar didn't use. So it's pretty much just saying the second guy in here is another div that just grabs all available space that the navbar is not using. Sweet. I'm also saying that's a column layout because I want, again, things to be aligned this way vertically right? And the next thing you need to know is that I have two divs in here, a div that kind of says, I want everything except the small margin. I want to grab everything in here. And that's where I want my router, the thing that kind of shows the content on the page that I'm at right now. Pretty much mean we add a small margin all around 
this area in the center, right? A small margin of 1%. And then this is where I'm going to style and show my application. And then in the, in the bottom part of it, I just add a simple footer right here. Nothing beautiful there. I just add this footer down here to say copyright, blah, blah, blah. This is the academy. So let's just open developer tools right here as the final thing. And let's just have a look at how we actually created all of this and how the outer layout now works. So step one is we have an outer div right here that grabs pretty much all the area. If I mouse over right here, you'll notice that's the entire area. Jumping back, then the first thing we meet is a nav bar. A nav bar is just taking the top part. If it just mouse over right here, you'll see it just grabs the upper area, right? The nav bar area. And then the next div pops up right here, grabbing the remaining space. And that's the div we see right here, grabbing everything below the nav bar, right? And then if we go back, you'll see the next area is pretty much just this div right here that's grabbing all available space in this column, except the margin of one. So if we get mouse over right here, you'll notice that's the guy right there. He grabs all available space in the center. And then the final guy is of course the footer right here who grabs the remaining space available. So that's the footer down here. And that's actually how simple it is. Now the center part you see right here, this area right here, will be replaced now, but it doesn't matter because it'll always grab this amount of space. Let me just remove this guy for now. And notice when I click the add page, poof, I still get the center area, right? Go back. When I grab this guy, the update, poof, I get the center area. Now we will make this pretty as well as we keep moving forward, but notice that the other guys are static now, right? They are, they are like top bottom. And then we have the center area that will be dynamic. That's it for this lesson that was setting up and just the basic layout to get started, right? See you next time. Have fun.